What is going on everybody? Today we have a DIY build video. If you remember back to the video where I relicked the PV Raptor, well, you're looking at the PV Raptor right here. What we did, we spent about, I would say four hours total sanding this thing down with an orbital sander and then we went through and fine tuned this thing. This thing is just silky smooth now. Look at that. This is just gonna be an awesome build. And pretty much my idea behind this build is just to murder this thing out. We are going straight black with all of this, but I still want to retain that wood grain. So we're going to stain it with a really, really, it's like a black stain. So we should still be able to still see some of the wood grain. And then we're going to use like a polyurethane lacquered finish over top of that. And we're just going to rub them both on uh, and a couple different steps. We'll do this. And I believe I'm going to do it to the neck too. So we're just going to murder this thing out completely. This thing did come with a white pit guard. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to paint it black. I know painting pit guards and stuff is kind of difficult. So we're going to hope that it sticks. Uh, but I couldn't find a Stratocaster style pit guard to actually fit this. I do have a black Stratocaster pit guard, but it doesn't fit the PV Raptor. So I was a little disappointed. So we're going to have to make do was just painting the one it came with, and I couldn't find an aftermarket one in black for this guitar. So we're just gonna have to stick with the white. But guys, stay tuned. If you like these type of videos, please hit that subscribe button, stick around, hit the like button as well. And let's get going with this video. We're gonna head down to the garage right now and show you what type of parts I ordered for this thing. And I'm gonna give you like a little lineup of what we're gonna apply to this guitar. All right, let's head down right now. All right, guys, we are down here in the garage and it's a mess. I've got all this stuff laid out. And I'm just gonna go through some of the parts and stuff that we ordered for this thing. We did get a new black tremolo system here. Uh, the one before was just chromed out. It does come with the new whammy bar. We got some new blacked out tuners. And these are just really cheap items, guys, I got off of Amazon. I think the tuners were like 10 bucks for a set. And then this was like 10 bucks with the new springs and everything. So we're gonna throw those on. I did have a black tone and volume knob we got off of an old Squire Stratocaster. Uh, we got the pickups and stuff just sitting out here. Uh, so we are gonna end up painting over this because I didn't wanna take it apart, but we're gonna paint over the white and the white uh, single coil uh, pickup covers here. Uh, this is gonna be really difficult because I'm gonna have to sand them down really good. That way the paint has something to adhere to. We got the uh, back plate for the neck, we got the output jack and uh, we're gonna have to scuff those up a little bit more so we can get the paint to adhere to them a little bit better uh oh yeah we forgot so got some new i got a new nut here uh, and it does fit i've already uh tested it so that's in black the one before i was removing it and i ended up breaking it but it needed a new one anyway so uh, we got a black one to replace it this right here you can tell i did try a spray paint already and it didn't stick too well, so I'm going to try it a little bit different this time. We have this one already scuffed up really, really good. And we're going to use this Krylon Fusion to actually go through and try to uh, repaint these. I haven't done anything to the actual pit guard yet. I'm going to go through, scuff this up really, really good. And then uh, we'll try to hit that with the black Krylon Fusion as well. They say this is pretty good if you're trying to spray paint plastic and stuff. Uh, we're going to see, I don't know how good that's going to, that's going to do. Uh, I'm not too rough with pit guards though. Uh, when I'm strumming and stuff like that, I try to stay nice and tight to the actual strings. I don't really hit the, the pit guard too much. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to have too much of a problem with the paint actually rubbing off of the plastic. And if it does, uh, I guess we're going to have to get creative in the future and maybe make a, a Squire style strat pit guard actually fit which I do have. Uh, so the finish that we're gonna use is gonna be this true black. And you can see the, the wood grain kind of showing through there in the picture. That's what I'm going for. Hopefully we can still see the wood grain, but it's gonna be a really dark finish. And then we're gonna finish that off with a nice rub on polyurethane coating. And we're gonna probably use several coats and try to build it up to where it's a nice looking finish. But this is kind of what we're working with guys. All right, guys, we have the neck and the body laid over here. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and stain the body and the body. Minwax True Black. 
Oh yeah, that looks good. I think the finish is looking really good. We're gonna take some of this boiled linseed oil and go ahead and apply it. That way it doesn't darken the wood up too much. It's just gonna darken it up just a little bit. It has that nice yellow tone to it. Just let that kind of soak into the wood and it does leave about that much colorized difference. I'm gonna try to push it down in the truss rod hole. Looks pretty good. Kind of let that dry, let the wood kind of soak that up some. So you can tell where I went through and really sanded down the fingerboard itself. So it dried it out completely, but we're gonna use this right here, this some fretboard oil. We're just gonna go ahead and See if this will liven it up some. Very liberal amount there. The neck is looking pretty good too. You can see how that rosewood really soaked up all of that fingerboard oil. And it's looking nice and conditioned again. The back of this looks really nice. You can see how I really finished that off really nice. Got rid of any kind of fret sprout that they had. Really nice neck. We polished up the frets pretty good too. So we got the neck all finished drying and stuff. It sat probably at least 24 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and install this new nut. And this was just plastic. We didn't go super high quality or anything on it. Uh, okay, and I showed you guys earlier, but these are pretty cheap tuners, but they seem okay. I mean, they have enough uh, tension behind them. They're not like super flimsy. We're going to go ahead and install these. All right, we got all, all the set screws installed, and these things look pretty good. We're going to flip this over and finish it off. Get that installed. Tuners are looking good. The nut looks good. So we're starting to prep this piece of plastic here. And what I used was some of this uh, prep spray. And what that's gonna do is remove any grease or any type of oil that is on the plastic. That way we can have the best chance of this Crylon Fusion to actually stick to it. So this has already been sanded down. And we're gonna go ahead and Go ahead and uh, shoot it with a coat of spray paint and see how well it actually sticks to it. All right, we're gonna start sanding down the actual pit guard. 
All right, so we got this sanded down. You can tell it's got like a flat finish to it now. And we also used the prep spray for it. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot this with a coat of paint too. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shoot coat number two on these items. All right, we're gonna start the polyurethane process. After letting the first coat dry for about 12 hours, left a really nice looking satin finish. And there's a couple of areas like right here where it kind of dried up a little bit more than other spots but we're going to be hitting that with the second coat uh, but what we're going to do is flip this over uh, we're gonna have to remove some of this but we're gonna be hitting the back with coat and that should finish this out and then we're gonna be able to get all these run spots and everything out once we do the sanding so as you can tell, this is a little different than what you guys had seen previously. And that's because after I got done with the first coat of that polyurethane, I had so many run marks and everything that it just looked like crap. So you can imagine, I kinda got pissed off and just, I sanded everything down essentially after it dried. Uh, sorry, I kinda didn't take video footage of it, but right here is what we have. And I kinda like it. I think we're gonna leave it I've wiped it down really, really good. I've got all the dust off and everything. And it's left this really nice looking, I don't know, just rustic looking piece of guitar body. And I can really see the wood grain. I kind of, I'm digging this. And we also went ahead and put the pick guard back together. It's looking really good. And look at this. That looks really good. It contrasts against the the lighter rustic body, it's gonna be blacked out. The neck looks really good too. Uh, we're gonna have all black hardware, the trim's gonna be black. And I think it's gonna look good. I really like the way this turned out. But yeah, this is one of the cool things about building guitars is you never know what you're gonna end up with because you know sometimes you make mistakes. And in this case, I didn't know anything about polyurethane. So I definitely made a mistake. And you know, it turned out pretty good I really like this it may look a little bit lighter than it actually is because I got the I got the big LED light shining on this so so this isn't really as light as it looks in the camera but it does look really good so we'll go ahead and put this back together and uh, yeah we'll tune it up and get it going I don't claim to be that great at soldering, but I don't think it's gonna to be too bad. So I think it's gonna work. We'll go ahead and get this screwed into the body of the guitar. We got the pick guard all secured down. Now we're gonna to head to the trim system.
We have finally finished this guitar build. It's been a long time. I've been working on this thing for about two weeks. And you know, the way I kind of started out the build to what we have now is completely different. You know, I was gonna go for a more solid black color, but rather we have this really worn looking, I don't even know what you wanna call it. It's like a rustic looking body on this guitar and it just looks really good with all the black accents. And what I'm really liking the most of this whole build is this guitar neck. So what I did is I went through and really focused on the guitar neck, making sure that you know, I sanded it down really, really good. And then at the end, I took a really high grit sandpaper and made this thing silky. And it is just amazing. Honestly, couldn't I couldn't believe how smooth this neck was after I applied that linseed oil and everything. And the fingerboard just looks really good too. Really darkened it up. Look at the new nut there. All the new black hardware on the headstock. And we went for $10 tuners. And I'll tell you, the tuners work pretty good. There's a couple that are kind of gritty, but overall, it works really good. It's really just a dream to play. And I really like how this looks. So this just goes to show you, you never know when you start a project, how that project's actually gonna end. Because like with this, I changed my mind completely. And I'm kind of glad I did because I like how the black pit guard really offsets the color of the body. Look at that. It just looks like a very rustic, modern guitar. So it's kind of a blend of both worlds. This is the PV Raptor that we tried to do the relic job on. And I don't know, I just really didn't like the results after a while. So going for that modern, but also rustic look the theme I was looking for, honestly, and I think it looks good. All right, let's plug this thing in, listen to it a little bit. this video on this new guitar build and if you're looking to do something like this by yourself you know it is kind of challenging at times to do something like this but overall it's really fun to do and I think the biggest part about this is it makes me want to play this guitar more because I actually did this so it kind of gives you that pride of actually knowing you did it yourself if it turns out halfway decent <laughs> and you may think this thing looks like crap but um, I kind of like how it turned out. It's it's kind of that mix of modern and vintage all in one. And it's kind of that new vibe that a lot of the metal guitar players are looking for in some of their guitars. If you like this video, help us out on the channel, subscribe, like, all the nine yards, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks for watching.